what's up you guys after your reaction today i'm going to be reacting to some more stargate sg1 this is season 7 episode 4 and i just like realized i think that was my guess last episode about what was going on was it actually correct that is so weird if that i don't know anyways let's get into this one jump's right behind us Not getting a pulse. Start CPR. Give me one milligram epi. Prepare to intubate. We just had two being really hurt. I don't think we needed one so soon. I don't know. I'm like barely. Oh, this is so fucking weird. I feel so uncomfortable. I'm like barely looking at the like intro sequence, right? You know, it's it's the intro sequence, you know. I look up and the moment I look up I see this fucking shit. Who the hell's dumb ass idea was this shit? I mean I I know and why is it always the same to me? <laughs> I almost missed that cherry hat. Could you? There wasn't anything else. Um, I don't know. I'm not going back to find out. If I missed it, I missed it. What random choice? What? <laughs> What's with the uh. You, I believe his offering of colored gelatin was his attempt to sympathize. Oh, well, he's thoughtful that way. There's no need. I blame only myself. How is it your fault? I fell behind. I was covering us. Oh. Okay. Sorry, I just I realized who that actor was that played Jack O'Neill last episode, the younger version. He was in the okay. Twilight films. That makes sense. Why well, I recognized his face a little bit. Hmm. Very good, Tilk. Okay, you're done. Tilk. You know, there is such a thing as overdoing it. Yeah, Tilk, it is possible to aggravate your condition by pushing too hard. Leave me be. No! It sounds like Skara. Daniel? Any technical anomalies during an incoming wormhole are noted in this box and then cross-referenced and detailed here. It's pretty dry. The corresponding mission files cover any general points of interest. Yeah, I've been over those. Well, if I knew what you were looking for... I wouldn't be doing this. What makes you think the answer's here? I just have this feeling it has something to do with an incoming wormhole. I was hoping that looking at some of this stuff might jog my memory somehow. Must be tough. I think the hardest part is not knowing whether or not I chose to be here like this. You know, whether I could be doing more good if I was still... Ascended? Well, this should be everything you need. Good luck. Well, that's the last of the physical examination. You have just lifted, pushed, and pulled more weight than anyone on this base ever has, alien technology notwithstanding. Teal, I'm clearing you for active duty. I am not ready. Still nothing? Well, I've broadened my search to any gate activity, including outgoing wormholes and unauthorized activations. Still have no idea what I'm looking for. Maybe if you stop thinking about it, it'll come to you. Take a break. Fraser says Teal'c needs a little pep talk. I've been practicing in front of a mirror for an hour. Not peppy enough? Not really. <sighs> Don't give me the eyebrow. Teal'c, something's bothering you. Something's been bothering you since before this injury. I'm pretty sure we know what it is. Then there's no mystery. Yeah, but the point is you have to talk about it. Okay, you don't have to talk about it, but feel better if you do. He lost you the piece of himself. That crap. I'm your commanding officer. And you must be kept informed of the fitness of all those under your command. Frazier says you're ready for duty now. 
that true? I have been dishonest with you. How? It is unacceptable. All Jafar children know this without being told. They are born with the knowledge. It will not be tolerated. What? Kek. Death. Death. I mean death. Weakness. We use one word for both. For if one is weak, one may as well be dead. I'm talking about the Kryptonian. In the beginning, I believed it to be the answer of liberation for all Jafar from the Gua'uld and the reliance on symbiotes. As soon as I began to take it, things changed. I felt my capability was being compromised, but I said nothing, hoping the effects were only temporary and my strength would return. You feel weak? They did not. Okay. Forgive me, Onyu. I should have. No. There's nothing to forgive. You're still twice as strong as I'll ever be, and you've got two good knees. Then the answer to your question is no. I do not feel that I am fit for duty. I can accept that. For now. Yep, you're right. Not exactly peppy. Oh, what you want me to say to the guy? He's lost his confidence. I think he was looking for you to reinstill himself. Well, if he really has lost his mojo, there's nothing I can say that's going to get him back for him. It's all in his head. If he doesn't think he's ready, he's not ready. Without a symbiote, Kelno Reem is unnecessary. In fact, I have discontinued the practice. I know you don't actually need to kill the Reem anymore, but uh, just indulge me. You see, humans sometimes meditate even though they still require REM sleep. I really think this thing I can't remember Daniel is. Daniel Jackson. For a successful Kelmo Reem, there is one element required above all others. What? Silence. <laughs> right. Master! No! Master! Freak! Shot! Son. Leave him alone. No! Bastard! Bastard, no! It sounded like Scar to me. Ryak. Yeah, I saw him and Braytag. I think they're in danger. Are you familiar with the ambush of Krista? Yeah, the meeting of the Jafar rebel tribes. I've read the report. 106 warriors slaughtered. Only you and Braytag survived. You sustained both of your lives by passing a symbiote between the two of you. There is something that is not in the report. As I lay near death, I began to dream. You used your abilities and appeared to me in that dream. I did. Indeed. When I had sufficiently recovered, you appeared to me again. And that is when I knew. You had stayed with me and watched over me for three days. And that is the reason I am eternally grateful to you, Daniel Jackson. And why I wholeheartedly believe you concerning Ryak. So you believe me too? Things I've heard sitting in this chair. If this happened before you retook human form, then whatever supply of Tritone and Braytac had would almost surely be depleted by now. But that is why we must act immediately. Daniel, you said you thought all this had to do with gate records. Perhaps you innately knew to look for a location. I've been through those records upside down and backwards. I still haven't found anything. Teal, is there anything familiar about the planet Daniel described? There is not. General Hammond, I request that we send for Rackmo immediately. Do it. I'm just gonna have to go back into GD. Save his son. You grow more and more weak each day. You worry too much for Much older. Rack. I mean, you would be. Tend to your own labor. A kick is shot! You're through! If you do not work, you will die. They do not work. Pardon. The rescue is forthcoming. And your supply of Tritone runs low. Right. Freak up! We will not be able to maintain our workload. They will execute us next. Free! Have faith. I will ration my Trentonian until a rescue. Uh, a plan with two moons. Hey, it's this guy uh, again. Back refinery near some sort of anti-gravity dry dock with a mothership under construction. I know the planet of which you describe. Erebus. According to Greek mythology, Erebus is a place where condemned souls pass as soon as they die. Then it is at Long the as he has melted off, planet but is used for the construction we still have to. Vessels. What was that about? Purification of the Nakwada to build them. Only Jaffa prisoner labor is used, as only they can withstand the intense heat and toxic gases of the blast furnaces fed by underground volcanic systems. Eventually, even the Jaffa succumb. I am aware of such places where Jaffa prisoners of war, unwilling to serve the new Goal masters, are taken to be worked to death. The planet was recently taken by Baal. If Braytek and Ryak were in the camp when Baal's forces arrived, perhaps they were trapped. Then they are lost. Why? The Stargate on Erebus is impenetrable. How so? The force field, much like your iris, blocks the Erebus Stargate. 
making attack or rescue through it impossible. Someone must get through it somehow. We believe a signal must be used to power down the force field. <laughs> we have no way of knowing what that signal is. Just like us. Yes. Powerless to interfere. Come on, it has to be there. Just give me a minute. Here, a coded energy signal was received and recorded through the Alpha Site gate three months ago. It was analyzed, but no one was able to determine its origin or its purpose. That is the force field deactivation code I saw Braytex send right before he was captured. Are you sure? I'm sure. I can synthesize this energy signature. If it is the deactivation code, I can get us through the gate. And I can provide details about fences and the lay of the land. What do you? I must tell you that I believe I may be a liability on this mission. I don't. If I should die, it is my wish that you watch over Ryak. Well, let's see it doesn't come to that, all right? It's his son. All right, let's do this. Sending signal now. Okay, so that happened. SG3, secure these guys. Then establish your perimeter. Daniel. The fact that they're even still alive at this point, considering how long it's been since <coughs> that would have occurred, like he would have been ascended and seen this. The fact that he didn't even tell anyone, like when in the two bar finale was, or like the, I don't know, looking too far, was it? I don't know. <laughs> Master Braytag, it is difficult to ration that which you do not have. And for me, you have not seen. I have seen. Tell me the truth. I'm not a child. The truth told me is gone. Then you will die. All your words of faith will have been for nothing. No, Ryan. Not for nothing. For you. You might survive. How long can you live without Tritone? As long as I have to. If we eliminate that guard position, we can create a blind spot. Infiltration is the best option on you. All right, it'll be dark in an hour. Everybody get comfortable. Hmm, I don't know if they should have waited because, I mean, Bright Eye is, like, you know that this is, like, a time for you to think. I like that they brought this guy back a couple of times. They're in. this? Uh, he's dressing that warrior down. Do the bidding of Baal. Shut up. Shut up? Yeah. Paraphrase. You're poison. You're cursed by the wear of horns. You're sloppy. You're... Oh, for crying out loud. Damn it. I think they've been made. Just hold on. I'm sorry. Master Braytac said you would come, but I did not believe. How is he? He still lives, but I fear not for long. Take my day. Should have brought some with oh, you. Take my day, Master Braytac. Oh, you did. Both of us. You cannot hide here for long. It will take too much time for him to regain his strength to walk. And we will carry him. We have come to take you and Braytac away from this place. What about the rest of them? What about them? What about all the others? There are too many. They can fight. And they will die. If they stay, they will die. Duke, you've been made. Get out of there. Well, that was a bit delayed for him. Creep chop. Hold your fire. Hold your fire. I'm just gonna sit here. Yes. I'm just gonna sit here and find another way in. This is my fault. How's that? Because I should have done something when I had the chance. When I had the power. I'll be just a moment, but I do agree. I think we've already established that wouldn't work out either. Nope. It's time for plan B. We have a plan B? 
No, but it's time for me. We've already determined there are too many guards for us to take out the whole camp with our current numbers. You need a distraction. Grenades? Think bigger. Claymores. Much bigger. But how? Ryak, you and Ragnar must spread the word. If we wish for our rescue to be successful, the others must be prepared to fight. How will they know when? When the time is right, they will know. Indeed. Can you fight? I am not the Jaffa I once was. No! Ryak. No! You are Teal'c! There is no greater warrior! Ryak! <laughs> I am... weak. Father, please... Ryak! No matter what, you must survive. You must survive. For I have come for nothing. Now go. Look, I think you're just feeling sorry for yourself right now. Once this panel goes, it'll only take a few seconds for the entire anti-gravity platform to shut down. It has been difficult. For both of us, you are feeling better. You will not be rid of me so easily. <laughs> when the time comes, I will be ready, old friend. As will I. I am not so sure. This Tritonin seems to have had an effect on your memory. Why would you say such a thing? Because you have forgotten that a warrior's true strength comes from his heart and his mind. You have had a physical advantage over me for a long time, and yet I have never lost a sparring match to you. Because for years, old man, I have let you win. <clears throat> better. Much better. This is not your work station. Take them. If you do not work, then you will die. This one does not know where his workstation is. Well, he is young and still able to work. You dare to speak to me? Mm -hmm. Only to ask that I take his place. So be it. No! No! You're barely able to stand. You would not have lasted another day. It was a good trade. Carter, it's a hold up. We're going 30 seconds, sir. Assume we do not have 30 seconds. You were once the first prime of Apophis. Now you're nothing but a weak, pathetic shufa. Do not look away. Be strong for him. What better way for Tilt to die than to be looking upon the face of his son? Wait. <laughs> Gotta get it from my job, eh? Sir, all the prisoners relocated to the Alpha site. Are anxious to join the rebellion? Then my mission has been a success. Hammond of Texas. I find myself once more in your debt. I think it's Dr. Jackson you owe on this one. Indeed. Go 
from Orim is unnecessary, although it does make me feel better. Colonel O'Neill has officially informed me that I have my mojo. <laughs> That's what I said. I guess I, I should be thanking you, actually. You see, I used to I used to feel like I didn't belong anywhere, really. I think I thought that uh, this whole ascension thing would change that. Now I'm realizing that the sacrifices were far too great. My life here is too important to just leave behind. I guess what I'm trying to say is that uh, the first time in my life I feel like I'm a part of something. The first time? Something important. As do I. It's only been seven years. <laughs> hey, what's up you guys? Quick interruption here. Um, as you are no doubt aware, these past few years have been tough on all of us. Um, and there are some things that none of us can hide from. Um, the cost of living, for instance, food and things like electricity, gas and water have all gone up and they continue to go up. Um, now, I don't really like to advertise this, but in order to afford keeping the lights on, the camera running, and to be able to provide you guys with new content, like this very edit, for example, uh, I feel I need to let you guys know about how you can help support the channel and myself. I have a Patreon that if you pledge to, you're helping support the channel, and in return, you can get a vast amount of content that you wouldn't regularly get on YouTube, such as full unedited reactions to my regular content, a ton of other shows and movies that you probably don't even know that I've reacted to. A link to this can be found in the description below, and it really does help the channel by keeping me and my very cute cats alive. Think of the cats. If you're interested, you can also check out our website, which is also linked below. Perhaps there's some shows and movies there that you didn't even know that I reacted to, but you always wanted to see. Please know, pledging is entirely your own choice, of course. You're welcome to stay here on YouTube and wait for the edits to come out. No worries, I'm not going anywhere. More edits are coming. Uh, I understand not everyone is in the position to support creators, but any help is welcome. Anyways, thank you for your continued support, whether it's through YouTube or on Patreon. You guys are the best. Now please, enjoy the rest of the video. Um, alrighty -o. well that was Stargate SG-1 Season 7 Episode 4. Um, pretty decent episode, uh, you know, it was a, a, a strong episode for Teal, you know, getting his mojo back. I would have liked to have had, like, kind of, um, some kind of integration of, like, he had this symbiote for a really long time, and despite the fact that, you know, it's gold in nature, it was still part of him, and, um, you know, the discussion of, you know, kind of losing a piece of yourself would have been nice to have been had in this episode, I think, um, but it was more about, you know, him feeling like he was inadequate compared to, you know, how he was before. Um, but he goes mojo back, so whatever. Um, and then there's Daniel that's remembered a few things about the time that he was ascended. Um, I wonder if more of that's going to come into play. Um, but yeah, overall, decent episode. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one.